Hello and welcome to Breakfast at Nine online. I'm Nick Clark, the Vicar of St Anne's and St Aldham's. This is my wife, Cherry, just in case you don't know who we are. It's good to be connected to you. We do miss meeting in the church centre at this time, but wherever you are, whatever you're doing, welcome to Breakfast at Nine. Wasn't last week's Breakfast at Nine great? We enjoyed it with you. We loved the stories the craft and the songs and we hope you'll join in with Matt and Laura and Nikki and the girls again for another Breakfast at Nine. Hello and welcome to our service of Breakfast at Nine online. I'm the Reverend Matt, I'm a curate here in Weymouth, and welcome to my home. And I'm Laura, the Children and Families Coordinator at St Aldham's. I hope you're all having a good breakfast. I wonder what you're having. Anyone got any Easter eggs left over? I definitely haven't. I got through mine quite quickly. I wonder, does anybody remember what last Sunday was? I'll give you a clue. We had some chocolate eggs, probably. That's right, it was Easter Day, the day when we remember and celebrate that Jesus came back to life. Now, can anybody remember the special shout that we used? That's right, I am going to say, Alleluia, Christ is risen. And I want you to reply and shout as loud as you can, he is risen indeed. Alleluia. So, shall we ready to give it a go? I know Laura and Alex and Charlie are ready. So, Alleluia. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Well, that wasn't too bad, but I reckon you can shout a lot, lot louder. So, we'll give it one more go. Alleluia. Christ is risen. He is risen. Goodness me, that was brilliant! Well, today we're going to be thinking about the theme of doubt. In our story later, we will hear how Thomas didn't really believe that Jesus had come back to life. But Jesus had a surprise for him. And we'll hear all about it later from Laura. Now, as we begin our service today, we're just going to take a moment to think about how our week has been and maybe just say sorry to God for those times where we've got things wrong. Either wrong with God or wrong with each other. And as we pray, the words will come up on the screen. So please do join in if you feel able to. So let us pray. For all the times we make you feel sad, we want to say sorry, God. For the times when we lie and cheat, we want to say sorry, God. For the times when we are angry and grumpy, we want to say sorry, God. For the times when we are rude or naughty, we want to say sorry, God. For the times when we deliberately disobey you, we want to say sorry, God. For the times when we are selfish or unkind, we want to say sorry, God. For all the wrong things we do, we want to say sorry, God. Amen. And knowing we are okay with God, that God forgives us and loves us, we're going to sing our first song, Be Praised. And I wonder how many star jumps you can do as we sing and dance together.
my special bag and inside my bag I've got a banana do you trust me that there is a banana in my bag mm, mm. not sure you're not sure not because sure. you think so yeah it's hard to believe things sometimes if you can't see them isn't it okay so I'm going to let Charlie look inside my special Ooh. bag and I'm going to show you that there is a banana in my bag so you don't look Alex okay you look inside is there a banana in my bag? There is, there is a banana in my bag. So now you believe me, don't you? Yeah. So Alex, do you believe me now that there is a banana in this bag, even though you haven't seen inside, mm. you haven't seen the banana, is it easier now to believe that what I'm saying is true, that there is a banana in this bag? Because not only I've told you, but also Charlie's looked in and he's seen there's a banana too in the bag. What do you think? Yes, I think so. Really? Yeah. Okay, brilliant. So you believe me more now that both of us have told you. So today's story is about someone who doubted, who didn't really trust what had happened to their friends. Last Sunday was Easter Sunday and we celebrated and we remembered together that Jesus is alive. We'd heard that he had been killed on a cross and three days later, he had risen again and he is alive and we remembered that and we celebrated and it was a great day and our story today follows on from that now jesus friends were in a room together with the door locked when jesus suddenly appeared among them peace be with you he said his friends the disciples couldn't believe it it was true jesus was alive. He was there with them. They were so happy and so overjoyed and excited to see him and to know that it was true. Peace be with you, he said again. One of the disciples called Thomas wasn't there with them when they saw Jesus. The friends ran to him and told him what had happened that Jesus had appeared with them and that they had spoken with him. Hmm, said Thomas, I just don't know if I believe you. Honestly, Thomas, it's true, said the disciples. We were all in a room together and the door was locked. But Jesus appeared in the room with us and spoke with us. It's true. Thomas looked at all of them and said, unless I see the nail marks in his hands and put my finger where the nails were and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. The disciples just looked at him and then walked away. One week later, the disciples were together again in a room with the door locked, but this time Thomas was with them. Suddenly, Jesus came and stood among them. Peace be with you, he said. Then he walked over to Thomas and said, Thomas, put your finger here on my hands. And Thomas did. Now reach out your hand and put it into my side, said Jesus. Thomas did. Now, Thomas, said Jesus, stop doubting and believe. Thomas looked at Jesus, his friend, and said to him, my Lord and my God. Then Jesus told him, because you have seen me, you have believed. 
Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. Wow. <laughs> the disciples must have been so happy to see Jesus. I love the fact that he just appeared, even though the door was locked. They must have all just thought, yes, he's here. He's risen. It's true. High fives all round, whatever they did. But Thomas doubted, didn't he? When his friends came to tell him the amazing news that they had all seen Jesus, he just couldn't believe it. He needed to see Jesus for himself. And then a week later, that did happen. Thomas and his friends, the disciples, were all stood together when Jesus appeared and he came over to Thomas. I wonder what he must be feeling at that point, maybe a bit embarrassed, but just so happy to see that Jesus is alive. But then Jesus says, because you have seen me, you have believed. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. So he's saying how amazing it is for those that haven't seen him, but yet still believe in him and believe all that's happened. And who is that? Well, that's us. That's Christians. We haven't seen Jesus, but we still believe in him and we believe what the Bible says about him. We trust that what the Bible says is true and we know we can trust God's word. Even though we can't see God, we can see the effects of God all around us. Just look out of your window at the amazing creation. The Bible is God's word given to us so that we can know him and believe in him. If you have a Bible, maybe you can look up this story in your Bible and read through it again with your family. If you don't have a Bible, that's fine. If you have the internet, you can look it up on there. So I'm just going to pray now if you want to pray with me. Thank you, God for saving us and for your great love for each and every one of us. Thank you for your word. Help us as we read it to know you more and more. We thank you that we can trust you. Thank you for our beautiful creation and for our community around us here in Weymouth and Portland. Thank you for our families and our friends. Please be with us at this time when everything in our country and our world seems confusing, stressful and difficult. Give us peace, we pray. Amen. Let's all say the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Now it's time for our craft. Hi everyone! So our craft today, we are going to make some hands. So we've got our painty version is going to look like this. Make it stand up. And our non-painty version is going to look like this. It's not going to stand up. So as we've just heard in our story, um, Jesus uh, showed Thomas his hands, showed him the wounds on his hands to show him that he had died for us because he loved us, but he had risen again and he was alive. So we're gonna make some Jesus's hands with some hearts in the middle and the verse at the bottom as well. So we're gonna start off with Millie doing the cutting and um, cutting version. So show us what to do, Millie. Okay, so you will need your paper and you will need to fold it in half. And once you've done that, don't unfold it. You need to make put your hand on it. Make put your thumb to the fold, so the foldy bit, not just the flappy. And put out your hand on it, 
and then you need to draw around your hand, leaving a big, leaving a thick strip at the bottom to write your memory verse on, like we have there. Okay, so we're going to leave Millie drawing around her hand on her paper, and we're going to um, start explaining the painty version. So let's pick this up again, Jessica, so we can see. This is what it's going to look like, hopefully, eventually. Um, so, Jessica, what do we need to do? So first we need to fold the piece of paper. That's it. Want some help? Yes. So hold it like that. Let's press down the edge. That's it. But on this version, we're going to open it up again, aren't we? Like so we're going to open book. our paper up like a book. That's right. Then we need our paint. And what are we going to do with this, Jessica? So you need to put it on one of your hands. And we need quite a thick lot of paint, don't we, for it to work. So then we need our paintbrush yeah. to put it around our hand. And that's it. We're going to put it right to the tips of the fingers, all the way down to the end of your hand, all the way around, nice and thick. Put a bit more on if you think you need a bit more. Okay. So are you ready, Jessica? So like Millie's, we're going to put her thumb right on this middle fold that we made. So spread your fingers out going to leave a gap at the bottom for our memory verse as well so make sure your thumb is on that crease and push down and we're going to press it and we're going to press it and we're going to press it we're going to make sure all that paint is on the and then what are we going to do we're going to lift our hand and quickly up, and then quickly fold it <laughs> and then we're going to press it all down and make sure let's get a piece of paper for your hands you wipe your hand a minute we'll go and wash that later and then we're going to, what are we going to do now? We're going to quickly unfold it. Open it up again and, and hopefully, oh, put and put your hearts on. Hearts you might need some glue on. for the hearts, but they might stick to the paint. It depends on how much paint you've used. Yes. Um, and then hopefully you will have ended up with something like this. So then we need to write our memory verse at the bottom, Jessica. Do you want to have a go at writing the memory verse on the bottom? Yes. So I'll pass you that to copy there and I'll leave this. Here, hopefully anybody else can see what our memory verse is. Blessed are those who have seen, who have not seen, yet believe. John 20, 29, I'll say that again. Blessed are those who have not seen, yet believe. John chapter 20, verse 29. So Millie, where have we got to on yours? So we have got to drawing our hands. Hopefully you should have something looking like that with a thick strip along the bottom to, as I've done there. Okay, so you're going to cut it out. So now you're going to cut it out. Now we don't want to cut along this fold here when we've got it yes, folded don't cut, here. Don't go that. You do the cutting, Millie, that's it. We don't want to cut along here and we don't want to cut along where the thumb is so that when you open up it's joined along there. But we do need to cut out this bit here and then all the way around. So you just cut out that little triangle, half triangle there, That's and it. then restart. So you keep on cutting round, Millie. Jessica's writing the memory verse. I'm going to say it again in case you've forgotten what it is. Blessed are those who have not seen, yet believe. John chapter twenty, verse twenty-nine. So Jessica's written on that on there. Well done, Jessica. Should we read it together? Should we hold it up? And what does it say? Blessed are those who have not seen and yet believe. John chapter 20, verse 29. Very nice. So there's Jessica's one's finished. Nice and painty. And then Jessica will need to go and wash her hands in a moment. Well done. Keep your hands on there so we don't get yellow paint everywhere. Went dry. <laughs> How are you doing, Millie? Nearly there? Nearly there. Just got to finish the fingers. Good. That's it. Nearly finished. And then what do we need to do once you finish cutting out so the fingers, Millie? So you need your heart yeah. and your glue. Yeah. And if you've already finished the cutting, you will need to put on, stick your hearts onto the middle That's right. of your hands. Yeah. Like I have done in that. Now you could, if you wanted to, cut these out just the same as these. So that they stand up in the same way you could just cut cut at the bottom and cut the fingers out or you can just leave it like that okay so you're yeah, gonna so we yeah. have got our lovely good hands. there's some glue you will need our hearts and if you do it this way around Millie so that it's at the front so then it will sit like this so if okay. you put the hearts on this side so you put on your hearts glue them right to the edges for them to stick better and you put it into good. the middle try getting as close to centre as possible put them in the middle of your hand 
present Jesus' wounds and God's love for us. That's right. And then what Millie's going to do now, but... Um, Jessica's already done is it, so. Do the I'm memory verse. To write the memory verse. So let's say it again to remind everybody, Millie, what is it? Blessed, Blessed are those who have, have not seen, seen yet, yet believe. believe. John chapter 20, verse 29. You just write that on there quickly, Millie. That's it. We've got our lovely version here that we've made already. Good. And then we can say it all together one more time, can't we? Holding up our versions. Well done, Millie. John chapter 20, verse 29. Good. Shall we hold them up and say our... Um, Bible verse like one more time and we should have something that looks like one of these. Are we ready girls? Going to say it together? Blessed, Blessed are those who have, have not seen yet, yet believe. believe. John, John chapter, chapter 20, 20 verse 29. Well done girls. And we will see you again <laughs> soon. Bye.
been wonderful to have you join us for our breakfast at a night service. I hope that you have had a great day. Before we finish, I just want to set a challenge for you. You might have noticed we've been throwing this toilet roll around this morning just for a bit of fun. If I throw it, will you be able to catch it and film yourself or just take a photo and send it to me just to make us all smile? Anyway, let's just finish with a prayer. As we leave today with our hearts rejoicing in Jesus, coming back to life and all that this means for us, let us go into the world to shine for his glory and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among us and remain with us always. Amen. Alleluia. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia.